All right. So good morning to one and all of you guys. Uh, so I believe, uh, you know, just in the previous modules, uh, we talked about the basic terminologies, starting with resource object, and then uh, then we proceeded with, you know, creation of the process form, what a process form is, and then we moved on to adapters. And just in the previous module, uh, we created one pre populate adapter, okay, wherein we set the variables, and then uh, we just uh, saw, uh, you know, uh, associating a pro uh, you know, an adapter task uh, after creating the variable, and then we compiled the adapter and we made it ready, uh, you know, uh, for further configuration. Yes. So now in this uh, today's mo in this particular module, we are just going to you know attach a pre-populated adapter to the process form fields. Okay. So just as a quick uh, you know reminder, uh, if you all uh, if you have looked in my previous modules, uh, I would have said like you know in the adapter overview that there is something called the pre-populated adapter, which will you know automatically you know uh, Take the field, copy the you know the process form fields directly from the user profile. So, if you if you see my sc screen, uh, I, I I hope you are all able to see. So, if you just see my screen, I've just uh, you know went ahead uh, with uh, uh, creating the uh, submitting the request and uh, uh, after sub uh, creating the uh, after you know clicking on request account, I come to the catalog page and after the catalog page, just when I click next, I come to this particular page wherein you see the process form fields, the first name, last name. Of course, there is always a service account uh, attribute by default. Okay, so whenever I need, uh, you know, uh, so either you can just update it here, uh, you can just leave these fields a blank and then click on submit. But if you want these uh, values to be auto filled in, you know, after, after we submit the re request and uh, uh, once the request is, account is getting provisioned successfully and, you know, uh, if we have the pre populate adapter configured, these values would have been, you know, uh, filled in uh, from the user profile, which means, say, if this user's first name is test user, then uh, it would have this first name field automatically filled like test user, and similarly, the last name would be filled appropriately. Okay, so that's what we are going to see here. So let me just quickly jump to the design console. Okay, so I've just, uh, you know, uh, I need to go to the design console once again and then. Here, I just click the form designer, okay? Uh, when I just uh, double click on the form designer, it brings a table view, uh, okay, let me close this. Let me close all the uh, forms here, and then just double click on the form designer once again, okay? Click on this binocular, and then it brings a table view. So what, I, what I'm going to do is, I've already created, or uh, probably I would say, uh, okay, we already have this form, CyberSec, you know, created here, yeah? So the form is uh, set with the initial version. And then now, if I just click on pre it, these fields are blank. Okay, so this is where we are going to attach this process form fields. Uh, you know, the, whatever fields that we created here, we are going to attach the pre populate one to these fields, okay? So since this version is not active, okay, uh, I'm just going to create a new version or what I would say is, Whatever form that we create, you know, we have to, you know, create uh, uh, sub, uh, subsequent versions. Whatever changes that we make, we have to uh, do it via subsequent versions. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new version here, and then I just click like, you know, cyber. I just give some label like version 2.0. Okay, so I just click on save here. Close this one. So now this current version is showing 2.0. So now you can make some changes here, okay? Um, and now I'm going to attach this process form field. So just the first name would be, I'm just going to map this first name to first name. And then the rule is actually, you know, the de always default, okay? It will always be default. And then the adapter is going to be whatever adapter that we created or built recently in the previous module, CyberSec ADP. And then order, I'm just going to give it same one. And then I just click on save here. Okay, so now this uh, adapter variable has come here. So you have to map this adapter variable. Just select this, click on map, and then just click map to. These are all the user defined fields. Okay, so you always have to uh, select the map to as user definition. Okay, and then the qualifier would be first name. So the first name of the adapter variable has been mapped with the first name of the process form field. Okay, so just click on save. Oops. Click on, 
I don't know, for some reason, it's just uh, getting hung whenever I try to save. I might have to close this again. Let me try to re-log re into my design console. Uh, so similarly, when you when you create these, you know, the adapter process form field, okay, you actually you can make these fields auto populate to whichever fields that you want, okay. Hopefully, it should log in this time, and uh, let's see whether. Oops, I'm gonna have to re-log in again. Okay, so I go to development form designer once again. And then, oh, okay, sorry. Uh, just open the same one, go back here, select the CyberSec one, okay. Go to the repopulate one. So it's, okay, see, the variables have been saved here. So similarly, if you want, you know, I'm just going to save this one. And uh, similarly, if you want to attach one more uh, pre-populate adapter to the last name, you can just select this last name field here. Just follow the same steps, okay? And then select the CyberSec ADP. Order is going to be two, save it. And then select this field, map, map to user definition. User uh, qualifier will be the last name, save it. And then, so uh, so initially it would be no. Uh, once you mapped it and save the, the map, the value will become yes. Okay, and then just save this. All right. So now the pre-populate form has been activated. The whatever fields that we have mapped uh, to the process form field has been activated now. So I just need to, you know. I mean, I would say like I'm, I'm the fields have been uh, created or the pre-populate. Uh, 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 I don't know, uh, fields have been mapped now. Now I just need to activate this form here, okay? And now I just click on okay. All right, so just click on save. That's it. So uh, we have just done with the configuration of, I know, the, attaching the pre-populate adapter guys uh, to the process form fields. Now uh, we are still not done with the complete, uh, you know, com configuration because after this, we are going to, uh, you know, configure some process definition, process task, and all that, and then uh, we would be doing some application instance, creating the application instance, and then uh, we have uh, yet to do the final configuration of, you know, actually uh, uh, activating the form from the system design console or sorry, system administration console. Okay. Because till now we have been using the design console to make all these forms and all that. So in the end, we'll be doing the application instance and the form, and and then we'll be winding up with the uh, testing the configuration. Yes. So in the end, we will see uh, that these process form uh, the pre-populate fields that we attach to the process form, it would have populated those values, you know, auto uh, automatically. Okay. So that's the end of this module, guys. Thanks a lot for listening to me. Thank you.